being honest, we were really underprepared for funding. I'd never put on a performance before in this kind of professional way. So I was really, um, yeah, kind of out, out of my depth. And I looked and researched um, for like Arts Council England um, and places like that, but the, the waiting time was really long. Um, and, you know, our plan was to put on a show kind of 10 weeks after we'd done the workshop. So initially that was like, there was no point, she wouldn't have got the funding in time. If I was to look back, I would say that, you know, I would plan on getting funding before I even started the workshops so that I knew exactly what budget I had, um, exactly what we needed, and it was all a bit more uh, arranged. It's been difficult because I've had to use money out of my own pocket. You know, being a student, that is a bit difficult sometimes. Um, the rehearsal space cost us £200 for the time that we were there. We could have bought extra props that we needed. We've been really lucky in the sense that the theatre that we're now putting it on at, um, is she said, you know, I've got so many props here, I've got lots of costumes, take whatever you can. She said, don't spend any money if possible. So the project's literally been kind of not really that big a budget and we've managed but you can't always presume that that's going to be the case because it usually isn't so I think we got really lucky there and if I'd have had money now we maybe we could have copyrighted the script um, and maybe we could have also paid for other venues to go and and share our work I just think that I've really learned a lot from kind of not being very prepared or knowledgeable in the funding area that I can take on to further productions and in the future